The sidekick line on T-Mobile has always been synonymous with the younger crowd and also message, its messaging features. But here we have the new T-Mobile Sidekick LX. This new version sports 3G capabilities as well as some upgraded features like a high resolution screen. But does it have what it takes to become a full feature device still apt for the younger generation? This new version remains faithful to the design of the previous generation of T-Mobile Sidekicks. For example, you'll have your standard swivel screen when you lift the screen a little bit, it will automatically swivel open to reveal the QWERTY keyboard. Additionally, you have your trackball used for navigation. As far as the design and materials that they use, uh, the plastic outer casing feels really well. It almost has a soft touch to it. Additionally, the gunmetal finish gives it a nice business-like appeal rather than being a campy entry-level text messaging device. This is one of the thinnest T-Mobile sidekicks available, but with the uh, decrease in thickness, uh, there is the increase in overall length and width, so the dimensions of the phones are actually larger than some. It does add some bulk to the pocket, but the weight is good, and the construction feels very well made with this device. Now one of the new things that this new version boasts is a high resolution screen, which is beautiful. It's quite vibrant and crisp, text being easily, easily read. On top of that, colors come out perfectly, and you really, we really didn't have any problems viewing it in direct sunlight. Typing is also a breeze on the uh, T-Mobile Sidekick. Uh, thanks to its uh, well-spaced keys, buttons are pretty well-sized, although they do have a quite of a stiff feel when you press it, but uh, we did do pretty well as far as type, speed typing on it. Uh, this has the standard set of T-Mobile Sidekick buttons. You have your menu key, you have your jump key, which gives you, t gives you your T-Mobile favorites, your cancel key, and your done key. And then you have the send and end buttons also right there. They do have a plasticky feel to it, but they're very well tactile. And navigating can be done on a couple a couple ways. You can either use a trackball or you could use a directional pad. A directional pad houses the single speaker on the phone. The preferred method is by far the trackball. On the bottom, you have the dedicated 3.5mm headphone jack for your music listening capabilities. You have your volume rocker, power button. They're, a little, they're flush and a little bit tiny to our taste and they use a standard mini USB for charging the phone or connecting to a PC. While on the top, you have your shoulder buttons. The left shoulder button is used to launch the picture messaging application, while the other one is used to launch the photo application and also take your photos. And finally, in the back, you have your 3.2 megapixel camera with LED flash, and removing the back cover will reveal the, the micro SD card slot, battery, and SIM, SIM card slot. Now Sharp did a wonderful job in paying attention to detail in almost every aspect of the phone. Small things like the LED uh, bars on the top and bottom of the keyboard does a great job of giving it a good contrast. The backlighting is pretty well too. Uh, depending on different notifications, for example, if you get an email or text message, the uh, the trackball will actually light up in different colors. Same goes with the uh, with the LED indicator on the on the bottom edge of the phone. Uh, they do just just small things like that adds up and gives a brand new and refreshing experience to the T-Mobile Sidekick. Navigating through the T-Mobile Sidekick is quite a breeze. You have your carousel of icons on the left hand side and whenever you scroll through it, it'll give you a picture associated with it. Now it's pretty simple and straightforward. Pretty much anyone who picks up the phone can start navigating through it pretty simply. Uh, it's not as menu driven as other phones, but that's the beauty of the uh, T-Mobile Sidekick. Uh, it's pretty simple, with lots of animations and different sound effects associated for each uh, action that you do. Just small things like that gives an overall PL to the device. Now you won't be disappointed with the messaging capabilities on the T-Mobile Sidekick LX. It does a fantastic job of doing just that. If you want to talk to your friends, you'll be able to use the IM client on here. Uh, you'll be able to choose from a variety of different providers from AIM, Windows Live Messenger, and also Yahoo. The great thing about it is you can be logged on on all three providers at the same time and still chat through each one. As far as email goes, this is a pretty good, pretty good setup they have uh, with it. The great thing about it is that you could use your standard set of email providers like AOL, Windows Live, or Yahoo just by putting in your username and password. But if you don't have, if you don't see yours, you can manually put in your own POP3 or IMAP email settings. Uh, it's just great because uh, unlike uh, you know some other non-smartphone devices, it won't allow you to manually put in your own 
email provider, but it does a great job of it. And of course, as far as picture messaging and text messaging goes, it's pretty straightforward with, with uh, texting other people. It's uh, by far one of the easier phones to text thanks to the great QWERTY keyboard. Web surfing is, is uh, pretty decent on the phone. Not the best, but not, not also terrible. It renders pages pretty well. It does take a little bit long, pretty long time to load up uh, our website, for example. Scrolling is also a little bit of a problem at first because uh, it just took forever to scroll either left or right. But if you change the settings of the trackball sensitive sensitivity, uh, you'll be able to navigate fairly well. Uh, but it, they do render pages pretty well, pretty accurately. If you prefer, there's also a mini page view, so you get a whole blue page layout of the site just to make it easier to navigate. Like we said, it's a decent web browser, not the best, uh, but thanks to the high resolution screen, it does make web browsing look a lot better. This new Sidekick LX lives up to the previous incarnations, with thanks to its upgraded features like the high resolution screen, great QWERTY keyboard, 3G capabilities, and a pretty well looking designed phone. Unfortunately though, the only aspect where it did fail was just call quality. Voices sound a little bit muffled to our, to our liking, and of course t calling up people is a little bit of a pain when you have to use the QWERTY keyboard to do that. Other than that, the battery life was, was not the best as well. We only got three days before the battery died. But as far as being a traditional sidekick phone for messaging, it does the job well. And we really didn't have too much complaints and we enjoyed the uh, upgraded features on it.